and today is day 8 of the fast of Daniel for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And I'm sure that yesterday you were in the house of God seeking the Holy Spirit and perhaps for many of you it was a wonderful day. It was the day where you could say what a day, what a day, because the Holy Spirit has come upon your life. And now my advice to you is that you make sure that you keep Him inside of you. You keep the Holy Spirit there. Because as you know, many prophets and even kings in the Bible, who when they were chosen by God, because they decided to disobey God, they lost the Holy Spirit. They lost the communion they had with God. So be careful. Be very careful now not to lose what you've conquered. Don't lose it through disobedience. Don't lose it through doubts. Don't allow anything to take what you have received from you. And even if you have not received the Holy Spirit yet, I'm sure that you've come a long way. I'm sure that even if you haven't received the Holy Spirit yet, but you are surrendering, you are giving your life, you're all to God, He's coming. It's about to happen. So don't lose everything that you have already conquered so far. You know, one of the biggest mistakes of people is lack of perseverance. Because they are usually about to receive what they want. They are about to be blessed. But because they were not perseverant enough, they just end up losing their blessing. And I would like to read today here with you a verse in the Bible, in the book of Matthew. As you may notice, I've been reading the book of Matthew these days. And I would like to talk to you about this passage that Jesus spoke to the disciples. It's Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. See, you are the salt of the earth. You are a person who is going to give life or give flavor to people's lives. And what is this salt? What, what's the difference between you and the people who are out there suffering? Your faith. You have the sixth sense. You don't live only by your five senses. You live by the sixth, sixth sense. And that's the one that gives flavor to life. Because even when the problems are coming, even when everything seems to be hard and impossible, you have that faith. You have that belief that everything is going to work out just fine. Because God is in control. But if you look back, if you look back, what's going to happen? You're going to lose your faith. If you start thinking, oh, but, you know, until now I have not received the Holy Spirit, I've been seeking, you know, I'm just going to give up. You're going to lose your flavor. You're going to lose everything you've conquered so far. And as I said, maybe you are about to get what you want. But because you are not perseverant enough, sometimes you lose your blessings just like that. So my advice for you today is that you take a look. Remember the person you used to be when you first came to God. Remember, even you have not, if you haven't received the Holy Spirit yet, or if you, if you have, even better, take a moment to remember the person you used to be and the person you are today. Look how much you've grown. Look how many things you've learned. Look how your faith has has developed and it's so much stronger today don't lose that don't lose the flavor what gives life to your life which is your faith which is your relationship with god 
So even though you're not there yet where you want to be, don't give up. Keep what you have already. That doesn't mean that because you didn't achieve what you want yet, that you're going to just give up. That you're just going to throw out everything that you have conquered so far. Because if you persevere, if you keep the flavor inside of you, you can be sure that your life will never be the same. And more, you're going to be the salt of the earth. You're not just going to give life to your own life, but you're going to be life in the life of many people. Of course, Jesus will be the life, but through you, he's going to be able to reach other people. You were chosen. You were chosen to be, or you were called, actually, to be in the house of God. You were called to be a man of God. You were called to be a woman of God. But you must keep what you have. You must keep what you have received. And from here on, there's only room for growth. There's only room to be a better person. Whether you have received the Holy Spirit already or not. We, are, we always have, must have room to grow. We always must have the, the desire to be closer to God and to change. So that was it. Okay? Because if you lose your flavor, you're going to be good for nothing. God won't be able to do anything. And people are going, are going to trample on you. This is the worst because you just put yourself, you, you lose that sixth, sixth sense. This word is hard for me to say. You lose that sense. And you become to see life as everybody else sees. And that's when the downfall of many begins. So don't allow that to happen. Keep seeking. Keep knocking. You're going to, to have the door open for you. Believe. Okay? Well, this was my message for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.